My name is Manuela Bryce. I'm a fiber artist, a hand spinner, and a knitwear designer. And I live in Eastport, Maine. And uh, we are here in my little shop. I was born in Ravensburg in Germany, in the southern part of Germany, very close to the Lake of Constance. It's a very beautiful area, um, very touristy and very similar to Eastport. And that the lake is right there. And um, the Alps are, of course, in the background. So I grew up with the Alps in the background and the lake. It was the trade center in the Middle Ages, 1099. Like, you know, the caravans would go from east, west, north, south. They, we were like the middle point there. And we would have, um, every year in the summer, we would have a historical reenactment parade. You know, so like two weeks out of the summer, it was all about the history of the city. I was very much um, fascinated by the fashion, you know, that like, you know, if you go through school there, you know, you start with kindergarten, grade 13, I mean, you would be dressed up like going down the years, you know, the, the centuries in like different style fashion. Just very much stayed with me. But finally, what brought me to um, the hand spinning was um, my years in Camp Hill, which is a community, intentional community to live and work with developmentally disabled adults. There was a weavery, a wool workshop where um, the fiber would be processed. And I was um, spending one year there. And that's where I learned everything about, um, everything about wool processing. With your feet, you're treadling a pedal that is moving the wheel that um, is making the bobbing that is on this flyer part um, rotate via a drive band that's on here. And um, basically, all we need to do is have the fiber. We pull the fiber lengthwise in this case and this style and allow the twist of the wheel to create the yarn. This is Actually, if you can see it, it's a little spiral that's happening here. And that is a single that is then being pulled into the wheel onto the bobbin. And um, how fast this is all happening um, is being determined by uh, this little knob here that um, adjusts the tension of how fast the yarn gets pulled in onto the bobbin. It's um, also um, adjusted by how far away the flyer is from the wheel. Okay, so I was spinning this thick and thin uh, merino blend single earlier, and uh, which is actually a really quick way of spinning up some roving, and it's very satisfactory to knit with it, as you will see later. Um, it knits up real quick with big needles, um, especially for baby items. Um, but right now, I am coiling it, I'm plying it back onto um, this little wool thread that I have here. And you will see the big fat parts of the thick and thin, the thick parts are being coiled and then I push them and it creates this um, bubble. Um, and I need to stop because my other thread just broke. You've seen me spin thick and thin from a roving. And uh, here I am spinning from the washed locks of a Lincoln long wool sheep fleece. Um, and this is, um, this is my most favorite type of fleece fiber because it's just gonna be, it's just a breeze to pull the individual locks apart, um, especially for core spinning. This is what I'm doing here right now. And um, allow some of the lock structure to stay intact 
and create the characteristic of the yarn um, off of the characteristic of the fleece. Fashion is something that you can use to express yourself. Fashion mirrors the times and the outer space as well as the inner space. And this was very fascinating for me to create my own space and to also find where am I in terms of the outside world. The philosophy behind Luna Muse Fiber Art um, is about creating with the divine spark of inspiration. It is a means of closing the gap between the intellect and the heart. I'd like to create more art pieces, like I have started moving a little bit in that direction, um, participating in gallery shows locally here, you know, they had a theme and I, I had something that struck me with an, an inspiration and I created, you know, I'm coming from a very frugal background of and things should be functional. You know, the value is attached to the functionality. So I'm trying to move away a little bit from that and just have the piece as an expression of itself without having like the functionality tag attached to it. And also um, just focus more on like um, creating pieces that offer warmth and emotional support and basically just you know, give you a huge hug. Ravensburg. R-A-V-E-N-S-B-U-R-G. It's like, I mean, I don't draw easily. <laughs> <laughs>